Hello, everybody. How are we all doing? Do I even remember to change my sound settings? Yeah, no, that that is right. I usually remember to fix them, but I don't normally remember that I remember to fix them. <laughs> How is everybody? I'm Loomis, and it is Amnesia Night. I... Okay, I know this is a bit of a meme, but I don't remember where we are. Is this the prison chamber? I thought we I thought we'd probably be in the main room with the uh the ghost guy. Yeah, so we're outside the inner sanctum. We need the six pieces of the orbs to break our way in. We we're also looking for a mixture of three ingredients to help save Agrippa. I was going to say save is a generous word since I think we're transferring him to the afterlife, but I suppose that's a pretty valid use of the word save, rather than have him just remain here suffering. Paralyzer Vitae and Fungi in the choir. The Vitae from any agonized human. Tamta doesn't exist in this world, but. Ah, yeah, we did find a, a well with a strange creature in it. We think Quaya sent that from the spirit world to provide Tamta. The shadow. It's close now. Go back this way and just check where I am. So I remember we opened a bunch of doors last time. Let's see if this takes me back to the main room. Nope, no idea where the heck I am. I guess we're in the choir. Let's go find one of these mushrooms that we're supposed to be keeping an eye out for. This area is well lit. There's obviously nothing to fear here. The 15th Ow! August 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come. Okay. Please, I didn't do anything. Paint the man, cut the lines, paint the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. Ah, ah. Now you see. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. I 
So I guess we're starting to get our full memories back now. That amnesia potion didn't last very long. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. It's been a couple of hours? I think in the universe. Wow, that did not do good things for my sanity. Pretty sure those weren't there before. Rather suspect that they're not there now. Might be where we can get some vitae though. The man had secured the prisoner, the ritual began. Although that, that wasn't the Vitae securing ritual that we just saw, that was the, the ritual to distract the, the shadow. Oh, there might be some overlaps. I thought Slenderman was standing over me. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. How much with your selfishness that is killing us both? We got a party. They're all over me. I also can't see a thing. Best nature as well. Oh, that's not there they are. Oof. They are close. Yeah, they're in melee range apparently. Uh, pop a lot in them? I don't know, these things mostly seem to kill me in one hit, regardless of my status. You know, those things track me by the light. Since my stress is already at maximum, maybe I shouldn't bother lighting a torch. I can't get any more stressed than I am now from standing in the darkness. It might stop me from unstressing, though. It will also stop me from being able to see a dang thing.
I'm just surprised it was empty. The forger stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eye had ruptured and begun to leak. How is my stress actually lower after that? pieces. Not really what I'm looking for right now, but I'll take it. Because it saves me from coming back later. Just the one art piece. I was hoping to find two here. There wasn't one in here, was there? Okay, I guess we're gonna have to circle the edge of that big dark area, dodging the creatures, until we can find six of these places. Still need a mushroom. Particularly long. Somebody out here in this area somewhere, but I don't know where. single stream. I need to turn this off on every single one of my channels. Sticker's by dot is broken. Okay, we'll uh, do a left wall thing I guess. Better and more ominous as I go this way, but I don't know whether that's uh, based on actual in-game menacingness or just or just you know suggested by the fact that my sanity meter is right at the bottom just now. Hey, Badger, how you doing? Mid-match? Ah, uh, you typing while you're dead? How's it going? Are you doing more, Gavin? Or have you decided to pick another champion to try in one trick? I remember you were feeling pretty disillusioned with him. I was expecting to find more doorways, not gonna lie. More mushrooms for that matter. But oh well. Oh, what we got here? up a, a bone to hit it with, or what have I got in my inventory? I believe. Okay, there we go. Looks 
that's presumably one, one of the ingredients we need to uh, save Agrippa. So I know one's down the well, we just don't know how to get to it. The other one's Vite, which, I mean, I know how to get it, I don't want to get it in that manner, though. But there's probably some lying around. I... Hmm. I don't want to know, but I'll find out. The traitor did not know what to think of the brass ball as he was forced to enter it. Only when the heat of fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. The screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument which was the bull's head. Outside, the men could hear the brazen bull bellow. Okay. We stick somebody in there and just cook them? I don't... Oh, and this, this pipe makes a bellowing noise, I guess. This... Oh, really? Does this accomplish something? That may have not been a smooth move for my sanity. Uh, it's stuck now. This didn't appear to make an orb appear inside it. Is there like something else I can do with this? Or what, otherwise, what's the purpose of this room? There's nothing in here. Just chucked on the floor. You'd think you'd be more careful with them. I know they're broken, but they're still powerful magical artifacts, even in this form. Is this is the worst part of the game here. I assume we're going to find a horrible contrivance in each and every room. This one just feels unnecessary. Like, what's the. What is the point of the ball? If you want to cook somebody alive, you don't need to put them inside a metal ball. Much less create a, a pipe mechanism to make bull noises. I don't get it. Yeah, I know the sound aside is the man screaming, but like, it just... And the, the pipes make it sound like a bull, but why... Why bother with the the pipes? I don't... What purpose does that serve? It seems like a lot of effort. Why any torture? I guess, I mean... In, well, in this case, they're harvesting Vitae from their agony. I just don't see how that makes it... more functional as a torture device. Real life torture did involve some fairly bonkers things. Although a lot of it was, a surprising amount of it was made up, like the uh, the Iron Maiden, for example. Not not real. The Victorians invented it to pretend it was a, a medieval torture mechanism, and they like put them in their houses and tell spooky stories about it. But not none of it was true. 
Ah! Alex in with a spook. <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? You having a good day? Well, the prisoners hear the sounds and feel more fear. I mean, they did say that... They, they deliberately expose the prisoners to fear to... Prime them for torture, but... Like, they don't know what the bull is, right? The guy who went in it didn't know what it was. The people aren't going to know that the, the mooing sounds are a torture device. I don't... does that really spook them? I don't know. I'm doing pretty good, thanks, Alex. Had a good day, got my jobs done. A chance to relax a little bit. When you're on dot 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 sanity, it's impossible to tell if some big event is happening that you should be freaked out by, or whether your guy is just snapping. Pretty sure all the spooky stuff going on right now is just my guy losing it. But last time I lit a lantern, like, five of those things pounced on me instantly. So I'm just gonna go through here in the dark. Like I'm already on zero sanity. You know, I can't I can't go below that. I the, the dark isn't doing anything more to me at this point. Mad is the ideal state to be walking through this, probably. <laughs> this area was the worst. You're not the only one to think so. Actually, was just saying the same. When you when you say the worst, are you guys talking about the the torch rooms being spooky, or you're talking about how this big area is pitch black and impossible to navigate? Because I have no idea where I am, and that's kind of frustrating me. Ow! Just hit myself in the face with the door. Oh, here we go again. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. Hmm. Crawl and keep hugging them. Yeah. I mean, I haven't actually seen any of the monsters in there while I've been sneaking. I'm not sure if they only appear when I light a lantern. There's torches all over the place, but I haven't bothered lighting any of them. Darkness is my ally. The murderer's limbs were tied to the spokes of the wheel. He turned the wheel slowly, but with intent, so the rope secured around his legs stretched and cracked the bone. He no longer had the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other knowingly, took a hammer, and 
hands pluck the victim's chest in a final act of mercy. Why did they finish him off? I thought the whole point of the thing was that the, the more they suffered, the more Vitae you got. Like, ob obviously, moral concerns, yes, but... I don't think that was on the minds of the protagonists. To a point, perhaps? Yeah, maybe if he'd just, like, given up. They're like, we've got all the Vitae we're getting. He, 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 can, he can die now, there's nothing left of him. I don't know. We don't know enough about the substance that they call Vitae, because it's like, the word means life force. But they're clearly harvesting pain, not life. Like, if he was still alive, they should be able to extract more. I can imagine pain helping with an extraction procedure, but it shouldn't be like the only thing. They should be able to... Leave them to regrow their vitae? I don't know. But then again, the, uh, the Baron has been using vitae to be immortal for all these years. Oh! There is one of those guys around. Do you think he saw me? Uh, move away. I don't think he spotted me. life force and he just hasn't worked out more practical ways of getting it. I need more data. When is this game gonna give me some straight up statistics, some some charts, some annotations on uh, on how all this works. I need to know the science man. Yeah, so my... Uh, okay. I wonder if I've got this too dark, because... Daniel here seems to be seeing things that I can't see. He seems to be able to see them before I can. Like, I couldn't see that thing there until it was on top of me. Uh, how far back am I? I'm in the bowl room? Ah, that was ages ago. Not a checkpoint in every room. I've got bugs on my screen. Maybe I just got unlucky before, but it seemed like the instant I lit my lantern when we were first in here, the thing was just on top of me. Also, I'm pretty sure I... Okay, I'm not quite at full health. Why am I not at full health? I healed myself a little while back. I don't remember taking damage since. I 
I don't know. But yeah, that that thing, the, the shadow seems to kill me in one hit. Maybe I can survive. Maybe if I was at full health, I'd be able to survive two hits, but. I don't know. When one hit kills me, it doesn't really matter what health I'm at. I met you? Are, are you Agrippa? Oh, oh, obviously Alexander. I forgot that the bad guy was called Alexander. No, he's been like telepathically talking to me a lot, but I've not actually met him yet. So it's that way. At this point, I'm using Daniel's fear as a radar. He can see in the dark a lot better than I can. So if his vision goes all horrific, then I know he's looking at a monster. Okay, so the coast is clear. Yeah, I should be meeting him soon, I guess. As I say, he keeps talking to me, trying to talk me out of uh, all this that I'm doing. Well, that's like strange messages in my head. He's yet to show up in person. He's inside the inner sanctum. I need the orbs to get in there. Okay, so this should be the wheel. Why is this door open? Have I got spun round? Oh, okay. This. I, it took me back to the last, I guess the last checkpoint, I don't know. This room stayed done, apparently. This room stayed done and I've still got the orb from here, I guess, but... It took me back to the previous room for some reason. What kind of the Fiora and Nessus, picking things that count at heart point when you get the chance. You're going for things that are good against top laners rather than the all tank kind of thing. You have the only thing that I fear. I'll do my best to fear you. But that's not an emotion I have in large quantities. The only thing that I fear is the only thing that I fear. Chocolate sauce on a pizza. I got bugs on my screen again. Are on my eyes? I guess they're probably on my eyes. I got bugs under my eyes, guys. I don't know, I mean, I've heard about uh, American breakfast pizzas and dessert pizzas and stuff. And 
from what I've been told, they're, they're awful, but... I don't know. You, you tell me you, you want me to try a, a dessert pizza with chocolate sauce? Like, I can't see, my, I can't see myself eating it twice, but I'd try it once. Keto pizza, but it wasn't pizza, just a cookie. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that's what a uh, dessert pizza is. If it's just like a cookie in the shape of a pizza with toppings, with things styled as toppings. Cookie cake or pie. I'm given to understand that pizzas are... Oh, where are you? Pizzas are deeper in the US. Blind as I am. Quiet entrance. Oh, I guess we're done in here. Unless there's some in the middle. Maybe the rest. Of, maybe there's another torture chamber somewhere else with the remaining three. We got half of them. It seemed like he had shackles or something on. He was kind of clumping along there, wasn't he? I don't know what the deal that is. But yeah, like, they take the pizza pie thing seriously, I guess. Like, remember when, when we were talking to Tyson about it, and we were like, you know, a, a deep dish pizza, and he's looking at what we call a deep dish, and he's like, guys, that is not a deep dish. They go deeper. Pop shots. Yeah, we've got, I've got three of six. So that, that suggests to me that there's another area. We get half of them in each area. Like, if I was missing one, I'd think, okay, maybe it's in the center and I missed it walking around the edges, but I, I don't think that's the case in this instance. Especially since I seem to recall there was another bit earlier that we didn't go to yet. I think we unlocked two doors. Slight headache. I just walked through that whole area. Was there something else? Looks like you cleaned out the choir. Head for the transit and find the rest of the old pieces. I walked through that whole dark area with absolutely no light. And I appreciate you. Pretty much walked straight into the shadow and my my sanity has jumped from zero to almost four. Important things to take care of. You got one of your potion ingredients. Is that of any interest to you? Eh, I suppose you probably don't care until I've got all three, right? It's not like you're gonna be mixing it yourself. You should hurry, Daniel. No time for sitting around. Okay, so. Here's the well. I don't know, do we need a bucket? We've got a bucket of tar. I don't know what I... I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this. I don't suppose I can put my glass jar on there. Potentially, the game wants me to jump in, grab the thing, and escape, but realistically, I don't see jumping down a well to do anything other than induce death. So, 
so I'm gonna hold off on that one for now. Concept. So there should be three more shards here. Hopefully we'll get the Vitae in here. And then we need to figure out how we get the... the water. Uh, okay. Not what I was expecting. If this was a... How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me already! Kill me! This one. Prepare him. Hmm. Say, so if this was a game with any other mechanics, I'd think this was a boss fight. Hey, Jess, how are you doing? Yeah, Reindeer with Snowman Arms is our... It's our thing. <laughs> you do love amnesia? I'm not sure if I've tried it, I forget. Yeah, it's our, it's our gang sign. We're the reindeer with snowman arms gang. Okay, what we got in here? I think someone about to have another... The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She could feel her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave away to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step. <laughs> You're an affiliate now, Badger. One of us. Back to Minecraft times, that one. Uh, what's this thing then? Is it, oh, it's for this. See if it'll somehow magically give us a bucket or something. Dude, chill, chill. Well, let's, uh, let's let's see if I can like. Can you stop interfering with my controls for a second? I need you to be able to walk in a straight line, Daniel. I ask so little of you, but walking in a straight line is it? This room's reasonably well lit. I'm gonna go up here first, because if there's an orb in each one of these rooms, that gets me all my orbs. But I, uh... I 
I want to get the potion ingredients first. I fall over the place when it's dark and I'm scared. I fall over the place when it's when it's not dark and I'm not scared. Falling all over the place is one of my most popular activities. Come on, come on, buddy. See, it's nice and well lit up here. You're gonna be fine. Like it's a, it's a nice religious scene. Do you think the painting normally looks like that, or is this a specifically we are freaking out thing? I've gotten to the point where it's just too hard to keep him not stressed. It's it's like it's easier to play the entire game at maximum stress than it is to get Daniel to calm down for five minutes. It is you, my love, I miss the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become, I am not blind. I am a monster to them, a demonic sultan perched on a dark mountaintop. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time it must work. I can't return home now, I shall perish. I am playing on medium, thank you. I found some string. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I am aware that if you're playing on hard mode, then you die of a heart attack if your stress gets to zero. Quite a few things to be said about torture. I figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then continue with the actual act. The point of the presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, as it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage, so it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also, apply the pain in doses, if possible with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subside, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. Okay, that explains a lot. Even if, yeah. I played, I think, the first Slender game, and it's, it's one of those games where you're like, I think I'm in better shape than the main character. Well, I suppose the, uh, oops. Right on my toe. Oof. I suppose the sustained uh, running will eventually wear you down. I wonder. 
string and the bucket of tar. No. Ah, here we go. That's giant string. So we can probably use this as an improvised bucket to get the uh, the thing we need out of the well. So now all we need is the vitae. Medieval within two and turned off stamina in the settings. <laughs> Just sit down, Daniel. Yeah, was it just... Was, was it like uh, Jess said, you can jog for five seconds? Just too much stamina management. Okay, no. I'm not sure if you stay in the light long enough. Does your stamina just recover all the way? Is this the thing I could have been doing all along? So my stamina does seem to have been going up. My uh, stamina, my stress does seem to have been going up. And I've not been getting the, the blue you made a progress effect. Like, I'd been assuming... I mean, I think the game told... Well, the game told me that your stress recovers when you accomplish things. I've been assuming that was the only way to do it. So he describes me as a man and finds it unlikely that I'd be in Alexander's presence. Are we just straight up accepting that Alexander is, I don't know, a vampire or something? I mean, he's obviously a... He's hundreds of years old. He's certainly something. No, no, please! I'll do anything! Whatever you want! Anything! I'll do anything! I I don't know how this one works, but I'm sure the game is going to tell me. The arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. It had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations wasn't the method, it was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. Okay. So he gave them so much vitae that they decided to give him the amnesia dust so they could torture him over and over instead of actually killing him. I guess they impale him, they put him on these things and like lower him down onto the spike or... They said this was called the cradle, I don't, I don't see it. Oh well.
this should be the last one. I assume everything will go to heck. Yeah, moment I grab this. Alright, what we got this time? You did most of this stuff yourself. You're afraid of yourself at this point, Danny. The rapist, hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood flooding from his belly. The saw between his legs had lodged itself in, his, in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to dream. It's a drainage pipe. We st still don't need... We still don't have any vitae. Oh, is this... the vitae that we need. We've got the, the poison gland. But we're still missing the thing, the water creature. How do I... Hmm. I'm gonna have to go back there and try some of the things I've got, see if we, see if I've missed something. this before, or does it just not do anything because there's nothing attached to it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm trying to send down a bucket to get the water of life, but I guess we're supposed to hook the creature itself? Okay, got all the potion ingredients there. I see that all the orb pieces you need. I know I have no right to ask anything of you. But if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients for Vyas Tonic before attempting to mend the orb, there might still be a chance for you to save me. Please. My fate is in your hands. I got the ingredients, buddy. Let me leave the room and come back in. I see that all the orb pieces you need. I know I have... <sighs> Do I... Wait, what? No. Substance needs to be purified first. Okay. No right to ask anything of you. So 
just the blood on its own isn't good enough. It has to be refined. Large amounts to distill it properly. Collected from the blood. So we've got tempo, we've got one guy. We've got blood and we need to turn it into vitae, but I don't know how to do that. Alex. So it's, I mean, there's a whole bunch of Mystery Dungeon games now, right? One of those things I keep meaning to get into and never get around to doing. Like the uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles stuff and all that. Love Final Fantasy, never played a single one of their massive series of Crystal Chronicles spin offs, just never got around to it. Dungeon Explorer Sky is one of the best. Okay. You could still use our help. What do you need our help with? Find any notes but if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredient, it's for Vias Tonic before would not help a group. Or attempting to mend. Cannot barely. So, oh, there might still be a chance for you to save it. Please, my faith is in your hands. You need. I know I have no right to ask anything of you, but if you could find it, yeah, how do I purify it? Understand. I see that all the orb pieces you need. I know I have no right to ask anything of you, but if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients for bias time. More than the interaction of the game, so it's she might still be a chance for you to save him, Rayo. Please, my credit is in your hands. Is Rayo the fighting steel one? Looks a bit like Knuckles in blue. I see that all the odd pieces you need. Badger wants to name the electric fighting squad as Fire. Team Thunder Punch? There might still be a chance for you to save me. That's the one, okay. Please, my faith is in your hands. Fire might purify the blood. I see that all the orb has Maybe? You think we gotta evaporate the, uh, the blood and... But if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients for fire... 
and like collect the vitae from the monster. Well, the best place to find a boiling spot spot for the uh, the blood then would probably be the the bowl, right? I think we can pour it into the bowl and collect it when it's done. <laughs> I mean, I can try a torch. I know I have no right to ask anything of you. I still don't know what I'm doing with this bucket of tar. But if you could find it in your heart, so maybe it's something to do with that. A lab. There's been a few labs. I'm trying to remember if there's been one in this area. Because normally I can't go back too far. Place with the holding cells. Was there a lab in here? <laughs> the four lads. I mean, Thor's a girl now, right? Let's see if we can find a lab somewhere. I don't remember what was back this way. Whoa, you, you okay, Danny? What's up? Get her back. Get her back. You keep saying get her back. I don't know who her is in this context. Whoop. Ah! There's no, there's no notable female characters in this game. I don't think there's any named female characters. I don't... Oh, okay. I guess that was a plot death. Yeah, we're in prison now. You had me worried. Quite frankly, I'm not sure what to do with you. I hold no grudge against you, Daniel. We are so very much the same, you and I. Did you really drink from the amnesia mixture? It does explain so much of your behavior. You never did finish what you set out to do. You talked about redemption, how you would face the orb's shadow and save our work and me. I will grant you another chance to redeem yourself. You can wait here and stop the shadow. Thank you, friend. Uh, okay. Well, he didn't take all of our stuff off of us. Makes sense, it's just a, a monster. So I thought the stumpy thing all over the place was a manifestation of the shadow, but I guess it's actually just that guy's pet.
The shadow is strictly just the uh, the red stuff creeping along the ground, I guess. Thunderstruck, yeah, that's a good name. Uh, I can't see what I've got here, but I've grabbed hold of something. I can't seem to do anything with it now that I grabbed it. Oh, a hammer and chisel's gone. Did they did they break? We must have busted them finally. Well, I can't say we haven't gotten a lot of use out of them. object that I can reach but can't seem to interact with. And also I appear to be breaking into the neighboring cell. Usually the best choice in, a, in an escape. running out. Oh, okay. I had to walk back while holding on to it. It wasn't enough to just pull it towards me. Okay, so I'm in... as well now. Is this one unlocked? Okay. Now where the heck am I? Oh, am I winding it the wrong way? we we'll pull something up. I don't think this well is working. Pipe down, you. He sees what I see. All right, let's have a look around these cells. There is little left to say. I write solely to prevent myself from revisiting the memories of these last few days. If I am fortunate, I will pass asleep and time will pass without effort. I have begun to wean myself of my prison. Am I finding the game so far? It's, it's alright. I'm enjoying the story more than the gameplay. I think horror games just aren't really my thing. I feel, feel bad saying it because I know this game is really popular with a lot of people, but uh... I don't know, it's one of the better games I've tried for the, the Terror Tuesday stuff. I'm more intrigued by the, the law than anything. When I first arrived, I felt I was being buried inside a tomb, but now I feel the close walls comforting me. As long as I am in here, there is no pain. The walls protect me from the outside. I even laughed earlier as one of my gut wardens dropped a key down the pipes. Give me hope for a second, thinking I could escape if only I could somehow reach it from here. In my dreams, Alexander, I am king. 
my dreams I best you and escape your clutches, and return with all the knights of the realm carrying pistols and sabers in my dreams. body at me, I guess. Yeah, no, I, I think it's a, it's a good game. I've enjoyed the, uh, the atmosphere and the story. Probably the best horror game I've played on stream after Little Nightmares. I think Little Nightmares was the best one. Little Nightmares was good. So I'm guessing this is locked? Yeah. And the key is in the pipe. it out using the phone. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's have a look around what else we got here. This truck is too long. Ah. What's the maximum number of letters? Maybe you gotta do it. Maybe you gotta do it old school. You guys are really focusing on the electric element. There's a fighting steel type in there as well. Oh, okay. That bucket we can pick up. The, none of the other buckets are interactive, but, but that one we can take. We tried to reel in before. Okay, now it does come in. Never mind. <laughs> Let's see. Metal, metal, metal lightning. What about lightning rod? That's absolutely as long as Thunderstruck. There we 
go. I can't keep the bucket with me. You never know when it might come in handy again. It's a few times I've needed to go down walls now. Still looking for purification. Oh boy. I should not have looked back there. Should have, should have just kept running. Oh. oh no. Guys, I can't escape until I've interacted with the game's physics. With the physics engine. I, don't, I can't even pick these up. I assure you, I was trying. Meander in a safer di direction. Oh, okay, now I can... This time around, I can open it. If you, uh, if you see a safer direction, uh, feel free to call it out. Well, this wasn't a smooth move. Whoa. Welcome to Silent Hill 3, everybody. <laughs> The messenger kind of did that with deaths. I like that the puzzles stay solved to give me more time to do this on future attempts. Come on. Leave me alone. I've got I've got a, I've kinda got another thing going on right now. I'm already dealing with the situation. Water monsters. Oh there goes there goes the light. I don't think I'm gonna be filling it in this in the middle of this map. I feel like every game. I feel like you're describing every game in which an NPC gives you instructions, Badger. Where they just continue to, uh, rep where they just say the instructions over and over again in a slightly more exasperated tone as you uh, fail to do things. the shadow hunting me. I feel it closing in on me and I fear for my life more than ever. Just outside Altstadt lies a small settlement where Zimmerman, a dairy farmer, lives with his wife and three children. He took the coach and went there. Our visit was unexpected, and Alexander was able to strike Zimmerman down without alerting the help. As he went to take care of the farmhands, I began to look for the children. We should have more than enough prisoners to finish the ritual now.
<sighs> Black and blue lion paw. If we kept that bucket, we could probably blow up some harbor from down as well. Use my bucket of tile and everything. Someday I'll find a use for it. Uh... Said we're back in the Back down that well. That way it's blocked. Is this the way back to where Agrippa was? I mean, I'll try and jump it, but it looks. Okay, no, we did manage to get across. It was blocked off beyond there, but I guess we're okay for now. the shadow's going to have gotten a grip, I think we might have messed up our chance to save him. Alright, moving slower? Let me pop some lard in him. This is the uh, blood needs to be purified before putting anything else into it. Okay, that's not how you purify it. Yeah, it's the alchemy room. This is what I was looking for when we got kidnapped. Okay.
what this is. Oh, I see what this machine does now. Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure what I was looking at here. Yeah, I guess I was doing it the right way. Okay, so I guess... Oh, nope, not that, please. Pop this here. Well, if, uh, if Agrippa's not died from all of the shadow shenanigans, we can save him now. Heineken beer is... I saw her lost. The castle crumbled and I could hear the chancel collapse. The laboratory might be accessible now. Oh, so we couldn't get in there until we did that. It wasn't just something that I'd missed. So Heineken beer consists of uh... <laughs> poisonous mushrooms, water from the mouth of an interdimensional monster, and the purified blood of somebody who died horribly. But it's all worth it for that great smooth taste. You did it! Thank goodness! Now, pay attention. First, beat me the tonic, and then use the saw to remove my head. As the tonic begins to work, you'll be able to cut off my head without taking my life. Then, take my head and bring it with you. As you enter the gate, Alexander is opening it in the same way. What do you mean? Why wouldn't you enter the gate? We can't argue now. You need to act. You're a good boy, Tyler. And I appreciate you coming. Use the but saw? I you what have saw, more though? Important things to take care of. I don't have a I don't have a saw. So let's give him the potion and then immediately saw off his head, but I don't have a, a saw. I have never tried Heineken. Look, if it, hey, if it was me, I'd be. Should hurry, Daniel. No time for sitting around. If it was up to me, I'd be carrying several saws at this point. But uh, Daniel's a little more concerned about inventory space, which, which is fair. He's the one who's got to carry it. You're a good boy, Daniel, and I appreciate your company. But I believe you have more important things to take care of. Where can I get a saw? I forgot- I f did not forget the saw. I did not know there was a saw. Trust me, I try and pick up every- oh, here it is. Quit messing with me. <laughs> you should hurry, Daniel. No time for sitting around. Trust me, I try to pick up every little thing that I see. I've played adventure games. Maniac Mansion, Cyromax, Hit the Road. Beneath the Steel Sky, all the classics. Alright, here you go, buddy. Quickly, off with the head. This is where it's gonna turn out that the uh the loudspeaker there is actually radio controlled and has nothing to do with this body. Some guy's got me on CCTV just giggling to himself as he convinces me to pour magic potions into this random zombie and then cut off his head. And then, whatever happens, get me through that gate. Yeah, classic Frank. Mr. 
pull that one all the time back in college. Severed head of Agrippa. Can I still... Okay, he doesn't talk to me anymore. Put the mixer in the machine to create like a water pipe effect? A water pipe? You mean... Oh, you think we're supposed to like pump it to him? Apparently we just pour it down his mouth. Oh, go with this again. Wait, am I going the right way? Oh yeah, no, I know where I am now. Would you settle down for five freaking minutes? I'm working on it. This shadow is getting on my nerves. You only ever had someone to talk to. <laughs> I I get that. I remember in uh, the Cradle in Thief: Deadly Shadows, which I think I mentioned before is one of the spookiest areas in any game, and it's not a, not even a horror game. But you, you kind of get to crave the moments where the ghost girl will show up and whisper in your ears. Because at least it's somebody to talk to. Some Ghost girl or not, some company is very nice in that area. I'm dead. Yeah, I mean, you are never completely alone in Dead Space, right? You usually had somebody on the radio. I, uh... No, that's not what I'm trying to... Am I supposed to put this together? Okay, I probably need some equipment to put this together. You know, I'm gonna back out of this room real quick, because I don't know if time pauses while I'm in my inventory and there's an enemy in there. <laughs> the... Oh yeah, the bucket of tar! A more appropriate workspace. That, that's what the tar is for, okay. I remember that he fixed the orb before somehow, but I thought he just like clicked them together and it worked for him because it's like bonded to him or something. But no, you're, you're right, he used the, the tar to glue it together, and then the tar was like pushed out of it as it slotted into place. It doesn't need to be like glued permanently into place, you just need to get it to hold its shape for a few minutes and then it fuses itself. Yeah, it was good to have the uh, the radio operators in Dead Space. Just keep letting me know what was happening. Oh, nope. So sorry, buddy. Sorry. Just a prank, bro. Just a uh, just a just a prank. Stay ah. determined. You have to carry on. I don't know what I can do to survive in those situations. Like, the, the thing runs faster than me. It can kill me in one hit. I feel like if I've not got a convenient hiding spot, then uh, once that thing spots me, I'm already dead. Yeah, I've died to zombies in other places. Uh, one in that big room, and then I think there was one early on. But yeah, more than more than half my deaths in this game are in this room. And we. Get Ever in a haunted mansion, you've learned something. What have What have we learned? Is it to uh, talk to each other and keep each other happy? No, it's just okay. What What you? Excuse me. It, it just fell over. I didn't tell him to crouch. 
Yeah, what, what you've learned is that you don't need to run faster than the monster, you just need to run faster than me. Th thanks, guys. Uh, oh, this way's collapsed. I think I need to go in there. Oof. No, you're, you're probably onto something. If there's two directions to go and there's absolutely no clue which direction you should take, I will choose the wrong one every time. I can sense the wrong direction at a great distance. Yeah, I surely need to fix it before I put them in here. Like, I don't... Oh no, okay. Uh, apparently... Apparently we're assembling it inside the machine that, like, absorbs the thing. This feels like a bad idea. But, you know, I'll give it a go. Just, let's just hope that the tar doesn't clog the machine that channels the power. Do I use this thing now, or...? Ah! I think that was it. The all by itself does not remove the bat. NOW YOU TELL ME! Ugh. Okay. Uh, something with the machine. The, the other room? The, the one that's got a monster inside it? Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Maybe it'll have left. Is that who that is? Oh yeah, looks like looks like she's gone. I mean, spoilers, I guess. I don't know if the game was gonna tell me at this point. But that that's the zombie thing running around is the the girlfriend that Alexander keeps talking about, his true love. I cannot believe what I have become. One of the girls escaped and I chased after her all the way upstairs. I hunted her down and... What is her life worth? How many lives can I take before I surrender my own? Sure, I would kill a murderer to save an innocent. But to kill an innocent to save myself? A cold-blooded murderer. Tinderbox was the last one you would pick up in the game. Okay. I don't know how to check my trophies on Epic to see whether I actually got it or not. I doubt I did. I feel like the odds of me getting every single one are pretty slim. Alright, what we got going on down here? Hmm, yes, this all looks like machinery. Uh, these all seem to exist. These wheels don't appear to be connected to anything. No, that might be a problem. Yes, I, I think I think I see the issue. 
what we have down here is just a random collection of pipes and gears and such that aren't really connected to each other and clearly don't do anything. Ah. I, uh... Hmm. I can't believe I just did that. You you know the uh, the like safety poster you see. With the the hand cranked in some the hand stuck in some gears all crunched up. And the message underneath it saying like, you know, don't be an idiot. And I, and I'm like, yeah, you think I'm going to I don't need a warning sign to tell me not to stick my hand into some moving gears. Well, you know, apparently I do. Not large enough to jam though. We got the larger. If only I still had that bucket of tar. Why do you why do you need to think about that? I don't see anything down here. Do I need to go look for something bigger? Can I put the head in the gears? That sounds like a good idea. Let's go find a, a metal bar or something. I don't know. A boulder? Would, it, would this rock do it? Eat the head. I. Uh, oh, I. I see. I think. Gah! So I broke the machine. It also kicked the rock into my face. Oh well, that's what laudanum's for. There's probably a better way I could have done that. How confident are we that he's that uh, our friend here hasn't already resorted to cannibalism? I mean, we've chucked. Uh, we've injected ourselves with blood from a dead guy. Does that count? Door's not gonna close. <laughs> Typical Loomis fail. <laughs> or ch chuck a, a rock into some gears and have it bounce back in my face. I think, like, maybe a metal bar or something would have been better. I don't know. You, you break machines with the uh, obstruction you have, not the obstruction you want. Do you think he went away? It's what I do, Alex. It's what I do. And the best there is at what I do, and what I do ain't pretty. He ain't particularly smart either. Yeah, I think he just left on his own. <laughs> that is definitely a thing I'm capable of. I think it's just smoke. I thought I saw the figure over there. Yeah, 
Anyway, looks like your girlfriend took off. What's going on over here? Okay, the... oh. So, uh, good news, bad news. We knocked down the portal, but the orb's gone. Do you Alexander wait for me to turn the machine off, run out here, yoink my arm, and run back in? Presumably while laughing maniacally. And going, whoop, 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 whoop. That, that does seem like him. Hey, burning. What's up? What you got going on tonight? <laughs> Am I ready to face you? I mean, the the game's intro clearly said that you're a feeble old man and I should be able to kill you with my bare hands. So I I think we're gonna be okay, you know. I think we're just gonna I'm just gonna walk in there and punch you, and that'll probably be the end of it. Yeah, I mean the you know. It was in my uh, my letter to myself. I've been a pretty reliable source of information so far. This is, this is going to be pretty simple. My only one weakness. I don't know what my weakness is. Like, maybe having my memories chucked back at me, but... To be honest, I feel like I've regained most of them at this point. And besides, it's... Okay. Doing a thing now, are we? I... Okay. Like the the reason for me not to have my memories is to distract the shadow, right? I mean, I'm in the inner sanctum. If I, uh... You know, it's not not ideal for me if the shadow catches up with me. But uh, you know, if even if it takes me down at this point, it sucks to be you. Alright, what we got here? 19th of August, 1839. It's not fair. I'm not to blame. I've been manipulated by that demon. He played my guilty conscience and duped me into facing the shadow alone. That vile, conspiring man. He expects me to meet my death as he steals power beyond imagination. Alexander, I will kill you for what you have done. If only the shadow had caught me in London or Algeria, I wouldn't have to suffer this humiliation. You made me a murderer. A monster. And now, I merely await my death. I am too weak to press on. I can hardly stand as my knees fail me. I cannot see as my eyes are dressed in tears. I'm as broken as the men I've tortured. If only I could wipe my fear away, as we did with them. Hmm. Between some Animal Crossing. Nice. Sounds relaxing. Too tired? Ah. Yeah, you gotta... Streaming takes it out of you more than most people realize, I think. I think even for us streamers, we tend to underestimate it. It's, it's best to take a break when you need to. Still, did you have a, uh, a fun time? Ow. Okay, I didn't mean for you to stab yourself on it. I'd have been content with merely knowing what it is. What have, uh, what have, what, what have we done here? Okay, I found a machine to uh, adjust the resolution of the real world, apparently. It instantly knocks my uh, sanity into next week? I don't know. <laughs> is, your, is my one weakness giving me a machine that I can hurt myself with? Ah, uh, fair enough. 
actually, yeah, I remember you saying now on your Discord that you were, you weren't planning to uh, stream it today, but you changed your mind because the turnip prices were good. <laughs> I I guess the shadow closed the door behind me. I thought it was gonna this was gonna be another chase sequence, but you know, it's, it's just pestering me, I guess. Okay, what we got over here? Another one? Have I got to stab myself on all of these? Are we, are we accomplishing something here? Other than suffering from blood loss, I don't know. Oh, did that lever slam the thing shut behind me? And blocked off the uh, shadow. That was, that was probably it. I was just kind of running at that time. Didn't think I had time to interact with stuff. Heavy door is sealed shut, so it's for a way to open it, okay. Stuck. Oh, did I have to stab myself and then stand on the, the ritual sign? Is that messed up. So is this one fully initialized now? I guess I go stand on the other one next. Promising. Let's go see if the door's open. Did we just lure the shadow closer? Was that the point of that? We can't get through the door, but I bet the shadow can. Well, that's fine. Shadow needs to work out whose side it's on, you know. It was a little more cooperative, we could have solved this thing between us by now. That girl is the she that he keeps mentioning. I was wondering if you were going to show up. I see Agrippa convinced you to run some errands. Tell me, is everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? Good and evil. Such comforting concepts, but hardly applicable. Are you so blind that you see no good in me? Or evil in a gripper. Oh, there you are. He has not been kind, huh, Alex? <laughs> well, I told a grip I'd wait until he opened the gates. I don't know. 
You wanna finish your ritual? Oh come on Alex. It's not even the first ding ding dong we've seen in this game. The last three were on dead people, that's way grosser. That. I realize you doubt my intentions. Why would I take such extreme measures to save your life? Maybe I'm saving mine too. Well, she has been chasing me all over the place. I can't say that she hasn't. I'm just like you, Daniel. A prisoner of circumstance, trapped in a world I no longer recognize. As you gain your freedom, will you deny me mine? Am I so close? Closer than I've been for centuries. Am I gaining my freedom though? Also, is this the thing I'm supposed to chuck the head into now? Like, am, am I gaining my freedom? Like, I'm... I was assuming that, you know, wouldn't... I don't see why stopping you would make the shadow stop coming after me, you know? I don't know what he's... He's trying to go to the spirit world, isn't he? Do you see it? Oh! Gateway? Okay. But you I can solve. No, you fool! You have there we go. ruined us. Off you go, I grip up. I guess I'm dead. I guess there were multiple endings there? I, s I chose to set Agrippa free from his suffering, but I suppose I could also have broken the last pylon and nobody would have gone through. Or maybe I could have jumped through it myself? But I think that's probably the best ending. Agrippa had a rough time of things. Yeah, he wants to go to the spirit world, but his companion there thinks that he's too dangerous to be allowed access to spirit world power. But he talks like he's been there before. Like, you say he'd go back to it. So maybe, is, is he a, a demon or a spirit that's trapped in a mortal body? Oh, am I? I'm still controlling. Oh, uh, I thought we were done. I thought the the credits were about to start scrolling. <laughs> there he is. Do you see him, Vaya? He deserves so much more. Please help him. I know you can. Don't worry, Daniel. It will be all right. I guess if the orb went back where it came from, the Guardian would chill out. <laughs> Horror games have accustomed me to, v to very sparse endings. I wasn't expecting to get that much. Yeah, it was good. It was interesting, I enjoyed it. <laughs> if 
probably the second best of... The, yeah, I, I guess I stand by what I was saying earlier. I think it's probably the second best of the horror games that we've done so far for Terror Tuesday. I think Little Nightmares was the best one. Hmm. But yeah, it holds up pretty well. Yeah, I really like the uh, the mood and the atmosphere of Little Nightmares. That one was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it, Burning. Have you ever played this one? Like, horror games in general aren't my thing, so I sort of... Like, an 8 out of 10 horror game can still be a, a 4 out of 10 game for me. That's, that's part of the reason I'm doing this Terror Tuesday thing, to try a lot of the horror games I've ignored all these years. See which one, which ones are good, and which, which ones... I don't know, just to try out some of the famous ones. See if I do end up enjoying them. Explore the genre, you know? So no, you haven't played it. Fair enough. You probably have similar feelings to me than I'm imagining. But yeah, it, it was it was a pretty good horror game. Had some interesting lore, some interesting characterization, but I guess the uh, the actual gameplay. I mean, mostly it's just walking around, finding things, and occasionally running away from a monster. Just ODN three one four. What does that mean? <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Appreciate it. Yeah, I guess I'll be wrapping up myself shortly. <laughs> but thanks for being here. Glad you managed to catch the ending with me. The games give you nightmares. Uh, it's kind of the opposite for me. I don't have the right parts in my brain to process them the way I'm supposed to. Yeah, have a good night, Alex. <laughs> so, uh, non-horror games give me nightmares? Man, I have all kinds of nightmares when I'm playing League of Legends. Man, just the worst. Never play League of Legends Burning. Never. <laughs> I, I've had I gen. I don't know if I'd call them nightmares. They're, they were more silly than anything, but I've I've had genuine dreams in which I've somehow stumbled onto a pro League of Legends team and I'm like playing at the world tournaments and I I don't have. I mean I know how to play, but I'm still my rubbish self at it. Just barely functioning at the game. And everybody's yelling at me. Welcome home, such as it is. <laughs> this squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now. And you are bound to them. Burning, thank you so much for the three Ching. months. <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate it. Yeah, three months. A quarter of a year. This is a, the first big number. <laughs> Thank you so much for that sub. It means a lot to me. <laughs> so yeah, gameplay-wise, maybe leaves a little to be desired. There's not a, a lot of complexity to it. Me... I mean, this is this is more a personal thing, but I like games with a lot of, I, I like a lot of dialogue and character interaction and stuff. And uh, I mean, it's a horror game thing in general. But you're on your own throughout pretty much all of the game. Most of the other characters appear in in letters and such. There's not a lot of dialogue. The other two main characters don't appear until right at the end. So. If you're not into horror games, I don't know how much you get out of this, but as horror games go, this was a good one. So yeah, make make of that what you will. 
Yeah, enjoy the fail whale. Custom story. I mean, I don't have any of these, but it looks like there was a built-in engine to mod in your own stories, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, I'd, I'd enjoy it. I'd give it a passing grade. I think it has to be given with the provision that, like, I'd probably enjoy it a lot more if I was into horror games. It's getting a, a sort of a medium grade from me, but that's that's my personal preference. I can see the good in the game. Amnesia Custom Stories are great to download. Some are spooky, some are downright weird. <laughs> Maybe I'd have to look up some of the famous ones someday and try them. I don't know. Yeah, it's always interesting when they have that option right in the game. I can respect that. So the sequel's called Machine Machine for Pigs, and I'm told that it's a lot worse and is not recommended. Hold on, let me let me put my light on. There we go. Like Bad Badger certainly hated Machine for Pigs and says it should never be played or exist. So I don't know, maybe we'll play it sometime, but it's a, it's a little sad that the sequel to it isn't better. If that's the case. And it's a shame, because it's got a really interesting name. Machine for Pigs. It brings out ideas. But I guess in the, the context of this, the ideas it brings out are more along the lines of... Uh, It's probably a machine to like harvest fear from pigs or what have you. More of the Vitae stuff with pigs being similar to humans. Like the images it brings to mind are more like the uh, the pig people from Darkest Dungeon. Some sort of construct for them. Or maybe a bit like the, uh, the guests from Little Nightmares. It's probably not going to be that. That wouldn't really be the style of Amnesia. Closer to the painting game. Eh... Yeah, that's uh that'd be a step backwards then. Like Like Layers of Layers of Fear is probably a standout example of the uh jump scares that uh, jump scare adventures subgenre of walking simulators. But I I like games where you get to do stuff. Yeah, maybe we'll play it sometime, just to see it. Part of the explore the genre thing that we were talking about, you know? Not all of the important games in a genre have to be good. Sometimes you learn more about the genre by looking at the bad ones. Okay, let's see. Got one more thing to do before I can wrap up. We've got to, got to check in on the polls. What we got? Next game for After Amnesia Dark Descent. This is going to be a close one. So, uh, based on the early voting, SCP Containment Breach is in the lead. But we haven't counted the postal vault votes yet. So, uh, I'm just going to roll the postal votes real quick. Okay, so we have two poster vaults for Silent Hill. Which brings up to five votes, the same as SCP Containment Breach. How is it? How, how do you guys do this? It's a conspiracy, I'm calling it. Even when I'm rolling a, a hacking goddamn D6 to determine how many votes go into a place, every single time we end up on a tie. Every single time the polls are tied. Have we ever had a poll where it, the final result wasn't wasn't a tie? I don't think we have. This is it. This upsets me. I quiet you. 
because my dot continues to be broken. Why do you people do this to me? I'm go I'm just gonna roll another dice tie break it. That's how we're gonna end this. One two three SCP. That, that rhymed. How can I make four five six rhyme with Silent Hill? I can't. Uh, I get a two. So yeah. Next game will be SCP Containment Breach. We'll be starting that next Tuesday. <laughs> I've played that a little bit before. I, ne I never finished it, and it was quite early in beta when I played it. I know they've added a lot since then, so it's going to be more or less blind. But I've kind of been looking forward to that one. It's a bit of a roguelike, so we'll have to see how we go with it. If we'll actually uh, make progress, or if we'll be stuck reloading over and over again, but we'll see. It should be fun. <laughs> so yeah, that was Amnesia, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed it. SCP Containment Breach, the uh, the fan game next week. Should be good. <laughs> Thanks, Berger. Yeah, thank you all for being here. <laughs> I've really appreciated the company. I've, I've had a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> you guys... You guys are what make a good stream. So yeah, that's going to be me for tonight. I'll be back tomorrow when we'll be playing Pyre in the afternoon. That might also be the last game. We're very close to the end of Pyre. Might be the last stream for Pyre. And then we'll be ro we'll be having a look what game will be up after that. But in, in the meantime, let's see who we can go raid, shall we? Who's online? I wonder if anybody else is playing Amnesia. We can uh, let me have a quick look and see if we can go raid somebody playing the same game as us. Amnesia: The Dark Descent. Oh, there's quite a few of them. There's six people. It's decent numbers. Uh, one of them, judging by the screenshot, is actually playing Darkest Dungeon. Darkest Dungeon. Okay, here's a guy. Uh, Lard T Maker, there's a name. Playing the Amnesia Collection. He's on the first one. So, yeah, I think we're going to go right over there. We'll say hi, see how he's doing, and where he is in the game. Thank you again, everybody. It's been good. See you all next time. <laughs>